All right, guys, welcome back. Basically, we're just taking a look around and someone said he needed a bit of admin help and we've come up to this thing and we thought, oh, wow, it's all made of mesh and we just flew up to it and then dunk. Wait, what? We're in gravity, gravity. now? And he's, he's, this is, this used to be a planet plate and he's, he's literally replaced the whole thing with metal grills. It's a metal grill plate with no planet. I love it. This it's like, great. this is awesome. Just to give people a bit of an exterior view on this. What? Look. This is totally funky. I think what? it's sideways. Hang on, let me just... Yeah, look, it's yeah, sideways. It's sideways. I think it was supposed to be on the planet one sector over. Oh, is it exploded? Uh, I don't know. Maybe so not. here's his ship. He's got what looks like a warp drive capable. Well, I can see a jump drive. I can see overdrive. I can see jammer. And I can see cloaker. Interesting. Wow. Is that perma? Is that a jammer? Yeah. Jammer and cloaker. So if this works, he's got a, a cloaking, jamming, overdrive warp ship. That's not... That's pretty cool. <laughs> It's really basic as oh, well. Oh wait, this is a planet segment. Turn your planet segments on in your filter. The whole thing's actually a planet segment. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. He said that, didn't he? I guess. And here's the factory. And then I guess that's his salvage ship. Which is a long waffle with power and thrust. This might have been done with admin commands on accident. Because well, if he was in a build block and they say they tried to unstuck him from the planet, he could have wound up here. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Awesome. I just thought it was yeah. worth showing. Whoa! Collision. We've got a. What the? Looks like we've got a cloaker. Oh no! Ah, yeah, he's got a docking point. Because the thing is, the bug where they went non-physical has been fixed. So you know, this is something that people don't do, and it's pretty awesome. I love it. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show everyone that. So um, yeah, someone's. This is a new type of abode, I guess. Look, he's he's colonized a, a planet plate that's exploded from a planet, and he's totally turned it into like. He's got a nuclear reactor there. It's Grilbatron. Metal Grilbatron. Yeah, it's half of half of the Transformers planet. Yeah, man. It's the bit that almost made it and then got sent back, and it was <laughs> exactly. all very and it was all very confusing. Okay, so there it is, guys. Uh, let's see who made it. Who made it? Who made it? Who made it? Who made it? Shard J Shard, or Shard DJ. I love it. It's really awesome, and I just wanted to sort of show that off, really. So yeah, thanks Shard for doing this here, and. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, so anyway, guys, the plot thickens. Basically, we're uh, heading back to the planet. I'm following Shah, and we're heading away from the plate, which is back there. So he's saying that actually <laughs> he didn't build it like that at all. And uh, I'm guessing that this planet up ahead is is actually where it's from. So as soon as we get there, I will start recording again. Dock on his plate with okay, the ship. Okay, so basically what we've got is we've got his planet. And yeah, that's a hole. Yeah, that's a hole. Why holes? So yeah, um, basically his planet didn't want to be on this planet anymore. <laughs> I think your base was just like, I don't want to be here. And it looks like it flew directly for the sun. It's interesting that only one plate came off. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, there you go, guys. That makes it even more weird. So uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.